Hello footy tippers, welcome along to our weekly look at what's going on in the AFL tipping wise and last week four out of four was nigh impossible Mark Dragasevic, I got one, what'd you get? Uh, I got one as well and uh, I think 90% of the population got one. Definitely, three very unpredictable results uh, after the Sydney Hawthorne game which provided the least entertainment out of yeah. the four. Well it was all over after uh, 10 minutes into the second quarter as far as I was concerned. Yep. One game that was fantastic though was Geelong and Fremantle and how battered and bruised will the Cats players be? Backing up Friday night against Port Adelaide, who was simply outstanding against Collingwood. Yes. Look, I know everyone's saying that Geelong's $1.25, but I just don't like their forward setup. And Port are in this whole nothing to lose phase. They are, and it, yeah, it comes down to if Hawkins plays, um, you know, Geelong. It just gives them another option. It does, but they still are a bit of a one trick pony when Motlop, Stokes, and Christensen can't get on the scoreboard. So, um, yeah, I'm a little bit worried myself, but look. They played Fremantle, who are a very, very good side. One of the best, probably the top two uh, sides in the competition. You know, it's never going to be easy. And they only just did get de defeated. Port, like you but said... But it was only the second time in 44 games that they've been beaten at home. So, a Geelong off or a Fremantle on? I just... I think Geelong are gettable, is what I'm saying. Uh, they're gettable, but I think they'll like that attitude that people have against them and they'll come out and fire up. Um, I think Port need to... Uh, to rectify their last two times they've played them, seven goals to nil, six goals to one after a quarter time. They yeah. can't give them that much start. They're a young team with nothing to lose, so anything can happen in finals, yeah, as well, we've seen. And good luck to them. They've done remarkably well so far. Saturday night, Sydney take on Carlton. Sydney look like they've run out of petrol tickets. Yeah. A lot of talk about Adam Goods. My information is that he won't play. And even if he did play, how could he be fit? He hasn't played for, what, two months? Three now? months. Three months. Three months. And, uh, look, the Swans get uh, Tippett fit. Plus one week, they get Jetta again. It gives them a little bit more of an option. I just don't think they can play Goods, Jetta, and Rowan in the same team. So someone. I'm from pretty there... sure Rowan might play on a wing just to give him some pace down the side. Yeah, I think they're rolling the dice a bit there. They um, are. There's no so doubt about it. It might work. It might work. It didn't work last week. Against Carlton, though, they have the tools of Pikes, uh, Jesse White, and also Mumford. That gives them just a bit more variation at the stoppages. They should be able to score a little bit more and stop Carlton stoppage uh, scoring, which are fantastic last week. Well, that's where Carlton won the game at the clearances and contested footy around the ball. Gibbs had 12 clearances. Judd, as, as good a game as everyone said he had, it was only one quarter. Yeah. So uh, I just think the Sydney midfielders, they've structured up a bit better. They won't allow nine goals from stoppages. I'm actually, I'm actually leaning towards Carlton. No, I think they're up, fool, no, no, they're up and about. They're up and about. Sydney's running on fumes. No, no Sydney, Sydney will bounce back. You keep back in the Swannies, but I keep charging the, the poor Swannies. Uh, let's mm. have a look. Dragger's, Dragger's going for uh, one favourite, one outsider. He likes Geelong and Carlton. I like Port Adelaide and Sydney, so we'll wait and see what happens. And can you imagine the Channel 7 blokes if Port Adelaide and Frio play off in a grand final? They'll be having heart palpitations. Uh, <laughs> Massive don't viewing numbers. Head to centerbet.com for all the uh, latest and greatest odds as we find out who's going to face off the Hawks and the Dockers in the preliminary finals.